And now we turn to this puzzling, bizarre protest going down on Wall Street and other places. I guess we're starting week three. Government unions are joining the leftist Occupy Wall Street protests. More than 700 have already been arrested. Isn't this just a little boilerplate capitalist bashing? Let's talk for a few moments. We have Alexander Penley, international lawyer who also represents the Occupy Wall Street protest group, and the ever-wise Jimmy P. James Pethokoukas, economics columnist and blogger at the American Enterprise Institute. All right, Ms. Penley, what's going on here? Is this just your basic green, anti-capitalist, anti-bank, anti-Wall Street, anti-America demonstration? Absolutely not. Uh, basically, I'm 40 years old, and when I was a child growing up, once you got a degree, you could find a job. If you kicked the hard, a door hard enough, it would open. At this point, people don't have jobs. People are losing their houses. Uh, free money is being given to banks without st strings attached and essentially we've gotten to a point where the elite own virtually everything I and there aren't there isn't money for food for housing for basic things that it, it with the last the economic the world economic depression has changed right. the tables dramatically right. and there are people from every walk of life you're down there right. you're making concerned. Some, you're making right. some good points jimmy p i want to get your response because i want to know look economic conditions are lousy we know that we really haven't recovered from the deep recession not really if you look at scott rasmussen's polls what's wrong jimmy who's to blame well, that, that's what I don't quite get is because listening to these protests and they seem to, you know, have a lot, there's a lot of different people with a lot of different causes protesting, but the, what seems to unify them is they all want government to do more. Yet I, yet I would argue that one reason we're in this bad shape is because government tried to do more. Government tried to give everybody a house and the housing market government collapsed. Government gave free money and the, and, to the, and banks. the banks. And the banks collapsed. And what I also have to wonder is why are they protesting uh, on Wall Street? If they're so worried about the banks and the money given the banks, why aren't they, why aren't they, why aren't they uh, uh, marching outside the White House or Democratic National Committee headquarters since, the, since the Obama's been bailing out the banks and has been amazingly pro-bank? Alexander, I'll give you the last word in response to Jimmy P. Why? Why? Actually, on October 6th, there will be a march of about a million people on Washington. And basically, when free money is given to Wall Street, when Wall Street isn't even an American company. Who gave them free it's money? Germany. Who gave them free money? Who? Once Obama took over, he did. He gave. But it was a W. It was a Bush plan to begin with. Ah, the concern that's, is that's that basically they're back. carrying the same Listen, thing, and there's only Bill one party. Bill Clinton helped create the housing bubble. Fannie Mae, Freddie so Mac, me, Jim Johnson. The maybe whole I gang got this wrong though. You want to get Alexander? Do you want to get rid of Obama? Do you want Obama out? Are you going to be for uh, Chris Christie or one of the Republican candidates? I am for neither one of them. We need to have somebody who actually represents our democracy, who takes it back because it has been hijacked by right. big business. I got to get out. You're yeah. very good. Alexander Penley, we appreciate it. Jimmy P., as always. Coming up, folks.